So today we'll be talking to Meals on a Budget. I have no disclosures. So today what we're going to talk about is share components of basic meal planning. We want to discuss strategies to be savvy at the supermarket. And then lastly, explore implementation and resources. Before I jump into this tips and strategies, I want to talk about current state. So according to the USDA, food insecurity is de defined as a household level economic and social condition of limited or uncertain access to adequate food. So one thing we want to be thinking about when we're thinking about this is food, yes, it has to be good quality, but we also want to take into con people's financial considerations. Um, and I think we can all agree that the pandemic has likely adjusted people's food security. So my first question for you, how has the pandemic impacted food insecurity in the United States? It's estimated to have doubled overall, estimated to have tripled among households with children, increase at food banks for first time users of 30% or all of the above. Yeah, very good, all of the above. So maybe um, sadly, but probably not unexpectedly, due to the public um, health response to COVID-19 with unemployment rates and reduced hours of work, all of the above. Now again, um, my talk is gonna focus on what we as health educators can do at the individual level. So I think we can all probably agree that to tackle food insecurity, it's gonna take changes both at the community uh, policies and at a systematic level. Um, is we also have food deserts that would need to be addressed as well. So before I jump into the strategies that I want to um, give to you for eating well in a budget, I do want to talk about the 2020 dietary guidelines. I will be focusing on that second dietary guideline, especially as it's considered to budgetary considerations. But I wanted to highlight um, the third um, dietary guideline, just as it relates to the core elements of a healthy dietary pattern, just because that's going to help build that knowledge of what a healthy balanced meal or plate should look like. So we want to encourage vegetables of all types, fruits, especially whole fruit, grains of which um, half are whole, um, dairy, um, both my colleagues have mentioned that today. We want to go for low fat, fat free milk, yogurts, or choosing alternatives. Again, if we have vegans or vegetarians that we're working with, soy or alternatives would be options as well. Protein rich foods, and again, this would include lean meats, poultry, fish, eggs, uh, seafood, but it also includes those beans, uh, peas, lentils, um, nuts, uh, soy foods, so don't forget about those. And lastly, oils, which we included, we would include vegetable oils, and then the oils found within foods, such as that seafood and nuts, would all make up a healthy dietary pattern. 